Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Paduka Daddy. Today's episode is going to be the first hat trick episode. Um, it's basically not the first season or or the last, or it's not half season. We are just approaching the new season. This video is going to be mainly focusing on um, the end of the season just gone and just discussing about potential plans and it, because it's three weeks worth of footage uh, there is three youth balls and if you're a hat-trick fan that is something to get excited about as you will see from the footage um, first place you go to is my office with the latest news uh, for whatever happening that day or I tend to log in potentially once or twice a week that easy going game so it's just literally just uh, looking at some skills and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, book in a friendly it's fundamental that you make sure that you book in your friendlies so that you get 100% training efficiency for your A and B team like me I train playmaking so that that means I can train six four and four secondary which means for wingers um, don't get as much but they get more than for usual in other positions that means I can train potentially 10 playmakers uh, in my team to produce some money and I can invest elsewhere now on to my youth team I'm just arranging uh, my team uh, for, for the next game as you can see my bench is empty uh, unfortunately I left quite a lot of youngsters in my team. I think I've only just really learned, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, regarding uh, youth, uh, mainly Uncle Mitch. Uh, you will find his link in the description of this video below. So we're gonna now go into it and we're gonna make a uh, call. So the first one is, he's 16 years old. Uh, he has scoring cap capabilities that are around the poor level. Um, and he has potential of inadequate winger. So if we look at the thing, inadequate winger skill, B, uh, poor level, poor the top of the chart. So he's a, he's got one B out of potential, probably three, two or threes. Um, so I'm gonna say no for that. Second call is, well, he's 15 years of age. You know what, it's quite rare that I say a 15 year old uh, in, in for you, you know, 99% of the time they're 16 year olds. Uh, but then again, he's an all rounder, weak skill, so that's C. Uh, he's weak defending, again, double C, but then he's a poor winger. So he's got two C's. So we just had our B, now we've got two C's. So will I take him? No, I haven't. I'm risking it for the third one. So this one, the last third one, I'm, I'm already regretting probably not taking for. B, but actually I see a B skill, so that's not too bad, winger is for third one, so I'm going to take him anyway. got three players of playmaking increases, um, first one's not a trainee player, uh, but from the next two are, um, so one's gone from uh, skill rating 10 to 11, the other one's gone from 9 to 10, so great stuff there. So now we're going to go into the qualifying game, now, did we win? As you can see on the screen, seven nil, lovely. We are remaining in fifth division. Now, so far in my career, uh, in, uh, in this career, I've been playing hat-trick since uh, university days, which was back in 2007, 2008. And um, on and off, very on and off uh, playing. So it was very nice to that I stayed in division five um, because of this section of my career in Hattrick. Um, I haven't actually able to do that yet. And as you can see on the screen, we're just going to go, uh, just been going through the goal scorers and stats. Uh, I won't bore you with all that. They had you know, a bot game and it wasn't really that competitive. Now we're just going to quickly look at the new season table. No Rangers last season won the league. Uh, we do have a new team and a bot team at the moment where I could invite some friends. As you can see on the screen, just looking at some stuff from last season. Uh, I do like the power rating. We are bottom, um, but it was a good idea of where we've come from. And we are growing. And actually, there was a gap uh, between uh, from March 
uh, of other team. But we, we're closing up with that grey to pink line. We're closing up and I'm looking into the new team who's come up from Division 6, who's won Division 6 for the and you know, strength of Division 5, and just seeing what positions he's becoming in. So 6, 2, 1, 4, 5, 7, 1, 7, 1. So he, yeah, no stranger, he just hasn't managed to do what we've done. And that's saying Division 5, it's not, it's not easy, you know. Nice. You've pulled off this video. Lucky guys. We've still got one more to go. As you can see, my mouse cuts are already going to the no button. Uh, weak passing, inadequate in winger. Here's a B, and that's pretty much it. So, and that's our first poll. Let's say no and see who else we get. Straight away, you can see poor weak. You see, once you start playing a few of these, you just you just know. You just know with that guidance, with that table, you just know who who's good and who's not good. So we're gonna say no to that. And then last one, I can see weak, inadequate, and weak again, not great to be fair. I mean inadequate being at best. So we will um take him, that is our last choice, and then move on. So we go into a new week. So team spirit, another thing from Uncle Mish is as you will see on the left hand side of the screen uh, highlighted in green is a team spirit guide now pic is play it cool um, normal is just normal and mots is natural season and very sensitive that kind of give you where we could be going at our, of increase or increase of our of our play so 100 percent which is uh, for normal uh, they're just going to play out there normal capability and then obviously if i was on four composed um, and i set match of the season my next game competitive game uh, i would be playing at a 30 percent increase uh, which is 113. I mean, it gives, I mean if i'm playing a team who's slightly better than me and they're playing on 100 percent give me a 13 percent so it makes it a bit more tight i guess it improves it all the stat. It seems to be advised is to build up your team spirit against teams probably, or games where you probably like cup games. If you're not interested in winning in cup games, just play, play it cool. Then uh, playing it cool will improve your um, team spirit. And then if you, yeah, if you're playing a league game and you, you know you're pretty much going to lose it. It's not going to be a competitive game. You might as well again play it cool, or you might just actually go. Actually, I am a much better team in this game. Play it cool and you're still going to win. And there's ways variant. If it's a really tight game and you really need to win, I guess, or get a result, um, I would probably suggest going more. Our last youth ball of this video. Three youth balls, is it? Don't get used to it. First one, weak, weak, nope. And then it's this one. I had to go away and I couldn't make up a decision because, as you can see, overall ability is inadequate. B. Remain on playmaking. B. Potential passable playmaking. A. So it's a BBA. Uh, only downside is he's 16. So if he was 15, I probably would have taken him. Yeah, I feel like just getting away from answer of what I'm going to do. But I, I basically got my two three year old daughters to decide for me, and um, I went with the majority. And as you can see, I went from no, they decided no. On the third one, we got it's nothing special. Like, sorry guys, three for nothing really sitting out there. Again, he's gonna just sit on my bench. I've been creating Excel spreadsheets for Hatchery for ages, and I think I found a nice little formula, and I'm still developing on it, like putting team spirit, improving my youth um, numbers. So I will show you that on probably my next video for Excel and then we will move on to planning for the season ahead because we've just started the season um, and then we will look at our training plan as well uh, or potentially getting a new trainer because I'm not a good solid trainer and but the best trainer you can get is excellent and then reviewing team spirit over the coming season does is it going to help me is it does it help power rating that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more content on this, don't forget I will be doing videos on Football Manager and FIFA, which will be weekly videos. I might even do two or three videos a week. Thank you for watching.
See you on my next video.